as we all know, arpeggios even can be uh, a little challenging sometimes on the guitar. But uh, for me, the alternate picking works best, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> mention what I just did there. I'm playing pentatonic again, but this time I'm playing something called the minor six pentatonic. So now and I'll comp this for you so you can hear what I'm talking about, but my lines are going to reflect this. So if I start on C minor, one, two, three. So in that last measure, emphasizing the sound of C7, um, I could also emphasize the sound of the tritone of that, G flat seven both sound great. So if I'm going to utilize that sound linearly, I need to think about some of my chord scale relationships. So, so I'll, I'll give you a quick example here and then I'll and then I'll do some that I'll accompany myself on and transcribe for you. But the idea being this. Played one of those Charlie Parker esque C7 flat nine chord, uh, C7 flat nine lines. Here's another example of that. Here's C minor. That time I actually used the diminished scale G, D flat, D. And this is the part's a little weird because on the Oliver Nelson version, or you know, from the recording, he uses a D minor nine, so he's got an E natural in there. So you get. It's so cool. You know, you're playing C minor, and there's an E natural in the middle of that chord. It doesn't really ring out like it's um, there. So I think I did something like. Um, Thank you. 
Thank you. 